What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek. And today we are talking about Power Automate and we're talking about Microsoft Planner or Planner. Um, now, I've spoken previously about what Planner is, but just a short recap, a uh, Microsoft Planner or Planner as it's now known is a fantastic tool by Microsoft that allows you to plan out things. So I primarily use it for the projects that I work on. So I use it to plan out um, different things that need, different tasks that need to be created or, or completed. Um, I can assign these to people. Um, I can put them into different um, buckets. So things like, you know, this is in development, this is in testing, this is in UAT, this is in deployment. Um, and you can do, you can um, arrange it this way and you can have a, a great collaboration either internally or externally as well. So Microsoft Planner, or Microsoft Planner or Planner is a fantastic tool that I highly recommend people use. Um, the one, the action that we're going to look at today in terms of Power Automate is when a task is completed. So let's take a look at that now. So I'm in, um, I'm in Power Automate here and I'm in a flow and on the top up here we have a Planner or I can search in here Planner and it'll bring this up. So if we click on Planner here. The uh, third trigger at the bottom is called when a task is completed. So there's three triggers for this, and this is the one we're going to look at today. When a task is completed, it'll trigger a flow. So we click on that, and then I get two things. I get group ID and I get plan ID. So the group ID is the group uh, to retrieve the plan from. Um, so this may be the, the name of the plan. This may be a security group that you're in, uh, where the planner board's set up. It may be your organization. Uh, it's going to differ uh, for you. Uh, for me, uh, when I created my plan, it's actually created a, a, pl a planner group for it. So it's called the Power Automate uh, plan there. Then in plan ID, I need the actual um, plan itself that I am looking at. And again, in my case, it's one called Power Automate plan. So all I did was create a new, a new planner board uh, and called it Power Automate plan. Uh, and it's automatically created the group and everything else. It's because I didn't have one in there by default, and that's why I've created this. And those are the only two things that you need. So it's going to look at this group, and it's going to look at this plan, um, and then it's going to see when a task is completed on the hair, we're going to do an action. So to test this out, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a compose action in. Compose. And in here, we're going to use some direct content from the trigger step. So we've got when a task is completed, we can scroll down to the bottom and it has a value title, so the title of the task, and that's what we're going to run with. So once we've got that in there, we can save this. Uh, we can go to test. I'll perform the trigger action and we can hit save and test. And now that flow is running. So if I flick over to my planner board, this is my planner board here. Uh, and I can see uh, I've got a single task created called Power Automate Task Task Created Now. Now I can complete this in many ways. Uh, I can, from progress, I can click this bar and hit complete, or from this window, uh, I can actually click this, uh, this circle here, which will then do a tick in the middle. It says complete task, and that'll complete the task. You can actually see it disappears on the board and goes into a completed section underneath the bucket that we're looking at, uh, and, that, um, and that completes it. So if I go out to Power Automate, we can see that the flow runs successfully. Um, I am having a little issue with Power Automate today. Um, I think it's just as I'm coming to record videos, so, you know, that's always going to happen. But it runs successfully, and we can just look at the previous runs. It says when a task is completed, it's great. Um, it's triggering from there. Um, we have a compose action when and the compose action says power automate task created now and that was the name of the completed task that we had in here it's now you know struck through so there we go so we can use this trigger to then action something else so uh, again if you're a project manager or someone that's coordinating a project and using planner for it you could use this and get notified every time a task is is completed and that way you know um, you know how many tasks have been completed each day uh, or you're aware of what tasks are coming through and what are, what are being completed um, so you can go and check the planner board to see where you're up to with things um, planner is such a great tool and power automate really turbocharges that tool even further and allowing you to do even more automation 
So what do you guys think? Um, is this something that you use at the moment? Do you use Planner? Do you know that Power Automate connects with Planner? Um, what do you use it for? Let me know in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this video and you liked it, please if you could drop a like on the video and maybe share it with a friend, it would be much appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get up to date uh, information and videos uh, when I'm posting them um, so you're not missing out. And I'll see you next time.